What is going on YouTube? Joe here with Color Nation Media bringing you another episode of Pokemon Y. Today's episode is number 41 and we are starting off this episode with a battle against an ace trainer who I believe has three Pokemon. She does indeed. She's going to start off with Krag and all. And today, I'm going to talk through this battle basically. is what's going to happen, so sorry. Uh, Lucario should be able to take on everybody that this uh, opponent has anyway. Kragonaw level 52, though, that's kind of scary. Anyway, uh, what I was going to say was that today we're going to be finishing up the Snowbell City Gym. We're going to be capturing our third... Third? Wow, no, we are a lot farther than three gym badges. Yes, we indeed are, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be getting our eighth and final gym badge. Uh, today. We're not going to be doing the Elite Four today. We're not going to be doing Victory Road today. Not even tomorrow. Because uh, what we're going to be doing uh, the rest of this episode after we're done here and then uh, tomorrow's episode as well is we're going to be tying up some loose ends. Now that we will be able to use Waterfall after this gym, there's a lot of things that we can go do. All that stuff, we're going to be getting uh, TMs and items and just finishing up some things that uh, we can go back to now uh, and take care of. And then uh, and a following episode, which will be two episodes from this one, so it should be episode number 43, we'll be starting uh, Victory Road. And all of that good stuff. And I didn't get to say at the beginning of this video, but do not forget about our like goal for this video. It's going to be 50 likes, so if you can go ahead and show your support by clicking that thumbs up button right below this video, it does help out a lot. And I do appreciate the support as this series is beginning to come to a close. And I will be doing some post-game content, I think, a little bit. I don't know how far I want to go into it because I would like to start a new series. Uh, it's something different, a different kind of game. I don't know what it's going to be yet. I might do another Pokemon game. I may actually add in like a third game. Well, not like a third game, but like a third series thing. Because I've got the Wi-Fi battles. I've got Battle Spot going on. And we've got this game. And I might just add something else in the mix. I don't know how it's going to work yet. But uh, just to, to update you guys on what is going on. Now, anyway, we've got a Bear Tick here, level 54. And that's just going to die to a close combat. Lucario kills basically everything in this gym with a close combat or a Metal Claw. And Metal Claw is basically just there as my other stab move. It does a lot of damage when I Mega Evolve and get that adaptability boost. And I really don't have any other um, Steel type moves that are going to be physical that Lucario has access to that I can really teach him at this point. So we're going with the Metal Claw. I went to the Move Relearner in Dendemil Town for that. Uh, but anyway, Vanalux is also going to go down to that close combat. We're going to get some decent experience. Haxorus growing up to level 64, and that does it for, what was his name, Theo? Kind of surprised we went this far into the game and just now are finding someone named Theo. I feel like that's kind of a, I, I don't know, a common name. Now these puzzles are just, I'm never good at them. I don't even know what's going on. We have to match it up so that we can uh, get to the stairs, but I don't know if, oh, is that going to work? No, it didn't look like that was going to work. Uh, actually, it may have. It may have. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Actually, this will work too. Alright, maybe the other one didn't work. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but we made it work this time, and uh, that wasn't too bad. If you watched the last episode, you saw me struggle a little bit with these sliding panels. So, you know what? Ice is both extremely hard and terribly fragile at the same time. You know what that means? Depending on which Pokemon you choose and what moves they use, I could be your most challenging opponent yet, or I could be a total pushover. But that's alright, that's how it should be. Anyway, enough of rambling, let's get this show on the road. And he's gonna just do some kind of like crazy, like, I don't know, is that supposed to be your war call or something? Victory-ish thing? I mean, it's not a victory-ish thing, because you didn't have any kind of victory yet, we didn't even battle. Getting so far ahead of yourself. Alright, so our opponent here is going to be the gym leader, Wolfric. It is our final gym battle of the game, barring a loss here, of course. And he's going to start off with a level 56 Obama Snow. The hail is going to start to fall. We're going to Mega Evolve and go for the close combat to ensure the kill here. And uh, we're going to get the really cool animation of Lucario evolving and all that jazz. I don't really use Mega Lucario too often because it is kind of broken. Honestly, and it makes the game way too easy, so I just use it in certain situations. I mean, he's a really cool Pokemon, too. And I never use him in Wi-Fi battles because, uh, obviously, he's banned, and uh, rightfully so. Anyway, Obama Snow is going to go down to that adaptability close combat. No chance for him to survive that. We're going to get hurt by the hail, which is unfortunate. Cryogonal is coming out next, and Cryogonal has absolutely 
horrendous, abysmal, terrible, awful, disgustingly low physical defense, and Metal Claw misses. He's gonna go for the Confuse Ray. Are you serious right now? Metal Claw, don't you have 95% accuracy? Come on. Come on now. All right, we're confused. Please do not hit ourselves in confusion. We hit ourselves in confusion. Fantastic. That does so much damage. Holy crap. He's going to go for the Ice Beam, and that actually does a decent amount. That's not even a crit. We get hurt by the hail. Basically, uh, if we hit ourselves in confusion this turn, we are screwed. So what I'm going to do is go for the full restore. That should heal our confusion, I believe. I don't know if it's considered a full um, status condition. I guess it is because uh, the confusion is going to dissipate there due to the full restore. It's not like a full status condition. But uh, yeah, now we're going to get frozen by Ice Beam. Are you serious? You are just haxing the crap out of me right now. What in the world is going on? Honestly, Wolfric, this is what we're doing. This is what we're doing right now. Alright, let's go for the full heal. I was about to say full restore, but we're not uh, at a low enough HP where we need to waste the full restore. He's going to go for the Confuse Ray again, so that's just that's just awesome. I'm just loving this right now. This is just the best thing that could ever happen to my day. Let's try this again. Let's go for... Alright, let's go for a Metal Claw. Come on, you know you want to break through this Confusion? No. No. Why would you break through Confusion? You never want to break through Confusion. He's going to go for the Hail because... Oh, God forbid the hail stops falling for five seconds. Getting way too salty right now. We're going to get damaged by the hail. And we're going to risk the biscuit and go for the Metal Claw here. Finally, we break through confusion, but Metal Claw misses a second time. Ice Beam's not going to be enough to take us out. Can we survive the hail? We can with 16 HP. Why is this so difficult? There we go. We snap out of confusion. Metal Claw connects finally. Finally, this Kragonel goes down. I had no idea that was going to be so much of a problem. I should have just went for the close combat. Holy crap. We survived with 4 HP. And we're going to have to switch out here. There's no reason to uh, keep a physical attacker out on an Avalug coming in. So we're going to go into Whiskers. Our Pyroar is at level 64 against this level 59 Avalug. We should be able to kill this thing with a Flamethrower, although I believe it has Sturdy, so it not going to go down in one hit. Oh, apparently it had a different ability. It must have had Ice Body. So that is a thing. The Avala goes down. Finally, we're done with Wolfric. That was the most agonizing gym battle I think we've had to date. That was absolutely terrible. How does Metal Claw miss two times in a row? Hit myself in confusion at least three times. Absolutely ridiculous. We're going to get the Iceberg Badge. And that is our final badge. We're also going to get TM number 13, which is Ice Beam. And obviously that is a fantastic move. It's great in-game. It's great competitively. It's great all around. It's just, it's just good stuff. I don't know what else to say. Now that we've finished that, uh, we don't actually have to go through that little puzzle all over again because that would be absolutely terrible, and I don't know that I would even do it. I don't even know. Don't even know. So we're just going to slide across this little platform which is pretty cool, and uh, now we get to see how the big boys do it. They don't have to go through their entire gym every time they walk in. I mean, that would just be crazy. Uh, we can't even leave without you coming out and bothering us, honestly. There's the future champ I know and love. Looks like you trumped our old gym leader. He is an old gym leader with a capital O. It's never a bad thing to test the limits of your strength. Am I right or am I right? No, you're definitely left. And since you're such a star, I guess that means you're off to the Pokemon League. Uh, we will be eventually. Stop rushing us. You know what? You have all the gym badges now, so now you can head off to the Pokemon League. Listen up now. Trust in your Pokemon and there's no limit to what you can achieve. You came out here just to say that? That's it? You don't even give me anything? No items? Just uh, barely any encouragement. That just that was not worth it. That was not worth the time. You just wasted both of our times. It's terrible. Absolutely terrible. I'm having a bad day, I guess. Um, we're going to heal ourselves up here. And uh, now that we have all eight badges, we are free to go to Victory Road. But like I said, we're not going to be doing that in this episode. I actually think what we need to do is go to Lumio City because we have some roller skating tricks to learn. And I also would like to um, get our... Fashion, fashionableness, that's not even a word. Our, I don't know, our coolness in Lumio City, we need that 
to go up a little bit because we can get a couple of items from doing that. And we can also get the last O power that uh, I haven't shown you guys in case some of you don't know where to get the, uh, the hatching power for eggs. It's actually very, very useful. So I do want to show that. Now, we're going to teach Waterfall to Lapras, because I don't want to teach it to anything else. There's absolutely no reason. I could teach it to Shinobi, but Shinobi doesn't need more HMs. He has Surf, and that's good enough for him. We don't need to just bother him with other things. I think he also still has Rock Smash, unless I got rid of it. Don't think I have, though. I probably will do that before we go to the Elite Four. I might keep it for Victory Road. I don't know, because... I feel like there's some places that you can use Rock Smash and Victory Road. That would make sense. I don't exactly remember, but it, it's, you know, it's a field move, so I feel like there could be places to use Rock Smash and get items, and I know there's a couple of really good TMs there. I don't want to miss those, so yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Anyway, we are here in Lumio City. It's been a while, and I actually called it Lumio City this time instead of Castelia City. I always want to call this place Castelia City, and I don't know why, because I don't really like 5th Gen. Don't really like 5th Gen, I don't really like Castelia City, I don't know why I want this place to be Castelia City so bad, but apparently I do, but maybe I'm just getting over it finally. I never picked up the Quick Claw here, I guess, uh, not that I would ever use it, it is a complete gimmick item as far as uh, the competitive nature of it goes, I will never use that, but as some people use it competitively, but it's just, it's honestly just hacks related, it's just, it's all based on chance, I'm not a big fan of that. So let's let's do some more exploring because we haven't really done any exploring over here. What do you have to say? A parallel swizzle. Are you talking about the control pad and all this other stuff? Okay. Well, I know how to do that, so I don't know why you're telling me. <laughs> I did not want to just sit down next to this girl, but apparently I got game. Uh, what do you guys have to say? Anything interesting? Do you want to give me items? It's not a quick claw. Something. Something. Anything. Let's go up this elevator here and go to the second floor. And I don't know what's up here. What is this place? What is this place? Where am I? Uh, you have nothing interesting to say. I don't see any items on the ground. This is just, I don't know. I don't know. This was this was not the building I wanted to go into. I can tell you that right now. You guys give me, like, Pokeballs, right? No? Do you give me Pokeballs? No, no one gives me Pokeballs. I don't know why I thought you gave me Pokeballs. You didn't give me anything but sadness. And regret that I even came in this building. This is the worst building I've ever been in. Well, I don't know. I, I, that that might be stretching the truth a little bit, but it's close. It's like it's like bottom five as far as worst buildings I've ever been in. Now I guess we're just gonna go this way, and this is gonna lead us to what is this place? I don't know. We're gonna go straight across North Boulevard. All right. Uh, what is in this building? I wonder. I wonder, I want to make sure I get to everything, because I didn't really do much exploring in Lumio City, especially the northern section of it. I did more ex exploration in the uh, southern section. But there are some items here. I do want to make sure I get the roller skating tricks, because there's a special TM that we can get if we get all the tricks. And I don't want to miss out on that, because I would like to show it, and I just want the TM, just in general. I know I could do that off-screen, because this might be kind of boring to watch me just literally go in every single building and just talk to people and do absolutely nothing. Uh, basically just a waste of time, but... But I figured I should show it. Because it's it's part of the game. It's not like I'm grinding or anything like that. It's just... We're just... We're picking up items. We're talking to people. We're trying to find stuff. You know. That kind of thing. Hey, trainer. My Clauncher's attack stat is 100. Okay. Why is your Clauncher's attack stat 100? Clauncher has absolutely terrible attack. Unless this person, unless this little kid EV trained his Clauncher in attack. Who does that? He obviously doesn't even understand how Pokemon work. So we're up here on the second floor. What is going on? Um, oh, it's the ghost girl. Yeah, this is the really creepy place. We don't actually know what this is all about, but she apparently doesn't need to walk. How creepy is that? How creepy is that? Where are you going? No, you're not the one. She just leaves. She just leaves and then she's not here. I forgot I didn't do this yet. But uh, we're not really sure what that is all about. She just kind of disappears, and then you can't find her anywhere after that. Some people say that she's in the hotel listening to the elevator. I don't really know if that's the case. We can't really prove anything. She hasn't been in any events, to my knowledge, so we're not... 
I don't know. It's just it's just a weird thing. It's one of those kooky things. On the third floor here, we're in I don't I don't know where we are, but we're gonna get an expert belt, and that's fantastic because I want to use that for competitive battles. And we have the protein from this girl, and I'll probably sell that because I don't need to increase attack EVs on anything really. I don't need to use items like that for it. You can use horde battles or even uh, super training if you really wanted to go that rate. I do think that the uh, horde battles is a lot, uh, is a faster way of doing it. Anyway, that guy supposedly came from the Kanto Dojo in Saffron City. Uh, that doesn't do us much good because all I really care about is items. I'm just hoarding right now. I am an item hoarder. That's what I am. That's all I'm doing. I'm, I'm very selfish. I only care about my item collection. What is over here? Oh, this is apparently a dark alley. It's not really that dark. It's an alley. And there's nothing here. Okay. Well, that was a waste of time. I don't know what button I just clicked, but I shouldn't be using that according to what my mom says. Uh, so we've done a whole lot of nothing in this episode. Really haven't made a whole lot of progress. But what we can do is start working on our coolness or fashionability. I don't think that's a word either. I don't know what what the actual word is. But let's talk to you first. Looks like you're not too bad. And she's going to teach us the backflip signature move skill thing for the roller skates, which is fantastic. You can do that when you jump over little cliffs and ledges. You can, If you get enough speed, you can backflip, which is pretty freaking cool. Not going to lie. Um, that's a restaurant. I don't want to go in there. What is over this way? Uh, Joan? Yeah, Joan Plaza. I was trying to think, like, what is the name of that plaza? Oh, yes, I have to think of the, the color name in French, and Joan is, is yellow. So that's, that's that. I know a little bit of French. Not that much, though. Really not that much. Not enough to hold a conversation, but I can understand people when they speak it, because my grandfather was, um... Whatchamacallit? Yeah, that. He wasn't French, but he was uh, French-Canadian. He was from the, uh... He was a Quebecois, I guess you could say. Anyway, I'm just... I'm talking out my wazoo here. You don't really have anything to tell me. I thought you were going to teach me something. But there's the parallel swizzle. That's pretty cool. Um... But that doesn't really do us much good. I think we're still missing one technique, actually. So that is something that we need to look out for. I'm going to get that in this episode once I figure out where it is. Kind of need to get my bearings. I get lost in all these back streets. I really do. Cafe Classe. And... Okay, the Herbal Shop. The Stone Emporium. Okay, we can go in here. We haven't been in here. You can buy some... Um, evolutionary Stones. You can buy Fire, Water, and Leaf Stones. No Thunder Stones. Which is kind of strange. But uh, we can just buy a couple of these. We'll buy one Fire Stone. Why not? And we can, I mean, I don't really need any of the other ones right now, but we can come back here. You can also get Mega Stones here. Not not you. I didn't want to talk to you. I wanted to talk to the old guy. No, not you. There we go. Now, he actually sells you uh, these items, which is going to be Charizard Y, the Charizard Y Stone, the Charizard X Stone, depending on what version you have and which Pokemon you chose from Professor Sycamore. You can also get the Venusaurite and the Blastoisenite, or whatever it's called. The Mega Stone for Blastoise there, and the price will go down the more fashionable you are, as far as uh, Lumio City is concerned. So the easiest way to increase your, your fashion sense and your coolness rating that I found, the easiest and fastest way to do it is to go to the Pokeball shop. And I don't know if that's what it's actually called, but we're going to find out right now. We're going to take this Lumi cab there. Uh, it's going to be in shopping, I'm guessing. And uh, the Pokeball Boutique. Now, the easiest thing to do is to buy Premier Balls because it's the cheapest. Buy it one at a time. You can't buy a whole bunch. And do it, like, literally about 50 times. That's about how many times it takes, I think. Uh, so just do it individually, and I'm going to skip over this part, so I'm going to cut out. Uh, but that's what we're going to do. We're going to make our our fashion of, fashionable rating as high as possible so we can get the best possible deal with the Mega Stones. And then get the last O Power as well. So let's cut out right here as I buy all these Premier Balls. Alright, we bought as many as we possibly could. I have a ridiculous amount of Premier Balls. I'm pretty sure it was more than 50. I actually didn't count. So I may have been just completely off base on that number. But uh, it's easier than doing all of the other methods of increasing your, your coolness. 
So Cafe Rouleau, is that where we're supposed to be? I'm looking for the, the roller skating trick. There it is. All right, I think you're the last person I have to talk to. You are a trick master. I'll teach you a technique. It's going to be the 360. You can use small ledges and use the circle pad, all that stuff. You don't actually have to like do the tricks. You just have to learn them and talk to the right people. So I'm pretty sure we've learned everything that we need to. At this point, now we can go talk to Mr. Cab Driver. And so let's see. Where do I actually want to go? Fine dining, because why not? We're going to get the last O power, by the way. Uh, it should be a cafe, not fine dining. So we want to go to Cafe Introversion. If you want to say the French, the French way of saying it. Uh, cafe Introversion, if you're going to be... Uh, different about it, but that's where we want to go after you get all of the other O powers and have the highest possible fashionable rating in Lumio City. You can come here to this cafe, it has to be this cafe, and Mr. O power, I mean, Mr. Bonding will be here. He will give you the hatching power, which decreases the amount of steps it uh, takes in order to hatch an egg. So once you level that power up, up to hatching power level 3, you'll be hatching eggs a lot faster. If you combine that with a Pokemon that has flame body, those effects do stack. So you can hatch eggs very, very quickly. And that uh, is, in fact, what I use when I breed my Pokemon for competitive battling and all that stuff. Just a pro tip. I'm sure a lot of you know that already, but it doesn't hurt to point it out. So that's really going to be all I wanted to do in this episode. I know it was really a whole lot of nothing. And uh, next episode is going to be a little bit more eventful. We're going to be traveling back to other towns. The first one that we're going to be visiting is Dendemil Town. Over by the Frost Cavern, there's some areas that we can use Waterfall um, in order to pick up some items. There may even be a TM over there. I'm not sure. It might be Stone Edge. Might be Stone Edge. I don't know. But I want to make sure I get as many things as I can remember. Uh, so that's what we're going to be doing. The episode after that, we're going to be heading into Victory Road and then the Elite Four after that. So, uh, yeah, we have our work cut out for us, but I want to thank you all for watching, as always, and do not forget to click that thumbs up button right below this video if you enjoyed it, because it does help out a lot, and I will see you all for the next episode, but until then, game on!